Springfield is a city in the state of Massachusetts, United States, and the seat of Hampden County. Springfield sits on the eastern bank of the Connecticut River near its confluence with three rivers, the western Westfield River, the eastern Chicopee River, and the eastern Mill River. As of the 2010 census, the city's population was 153,060. Metropolitan Springfield, as one of two metropolitan areas in Massachusetts the other being Greater Boston, had a population of 692,942 as of 2010, the first Springfield in the New World, it is the largest city in western New England, and the urban, economic, and cultural capital of Massachusetts' Connecticut River Valley colloquially known as the Pioneer Valley. It is the third largest city in Massachusetts and fourth largest in New England after Boston, Worcester, and Providence. Springfield has several nicknames, the City of Firsts, due to the many innovations developed there, such as the first American dictionary, the first American gas-powered automobile, and the first machining lathe for interchangeable parts, the City of Homes, due to its Victorian residential architecture, and Hoop City, as basketball, one of the world's most popular sports, was invented in Springfield in 1891 by James Naismith. Hartford, the capital of Connecticut, lies 24 miles 39 kilometers south of Springfield, on the western bank of the Connecticut River. The Hartford-Springfield region is known as the Knowledge Corridor because it hosts over 160,000 university students and over 32 universities and liberal arts colleges, the second highest concentration of higher learning institutions in the United States. The city of Springfield itself is home to Springfield College, Western New England University, American International College, and Springfield Technical Community College, among other higher educational institutions. History Springfield was founded in 1636 by English Puritan William Pinchon as Agawam Plantation under the administration of the Connecticut Colony. In 1641 it was renamed after Pinchon's hometown of Springfield, Essex, England, following incidents that precipitated the settlement joining the Massachusetts Bay Colony. During its early existence, Springfield flourished as both an agricultural settlement and trading post, although its prosperity waned dramatically during and after King Philip's War in 1675, when natives laid siege to it and burned it to the ground as part of the ongoing campaign. The original settlement, today's downtown Springfield, was located atop bluffs at the confluence of four rivers, at the nexus of trade routes to Boston, Albany New York City, and Montreal, and with some of the northeastern United States' most fertile soil. In 1777, Springfield's location at numerous crossroads led George Washington and Henry Knox to establish the United States National Armory at Springfield, which produced the first American musket in 1794, and later the famous Springfield rifle. From 1777 until its closing during the Vietnam War, the Springfield Armory attracted skilled laborers to Springfield, making it the United States' longtime center for precision manufacturing. The near capture of the armory during Shays' Rebellion of 1787 led directly to the formation of the U.S. Constitutional Convention. During the 19th and 20th centuries, Springfielders produced many innovations, including the first American English Dictionary 1805, Merriam-Webster, the first use of interchangeable parts and the assembly line in manufacturing 1819, Thomas Blanchard, the first American horseless car 1825, Thomas Blanchard, the discovery and patent of vulcanized rubber 1844, Charles Goodyear, the first American gasoline-powered car 1893, Duryea Brothers, the first successful motor Motorcycle Company 1901. Indian. One of America's first commercial radio stations 1921. WBZ, broadcast from the Hotel Kimball, and most famously, the world's second most popular sport, basketball 1891. Dr. James Naismith, Springfield underwent a protracted decline during the second half of the 20th century, due largely to the decommissioning of the Springfield Armory in 1969, poor city planning decisions, such as the location of the elevated I-91 along the city's Connecticut River front, and overall decline of industry industry throughout the northeastern United States. During the 1980s and 1990s, Springfield developed a national reputation for crime, political corruption and cronyism. 
During the early 21st century, Springfield sought to overcome its downgrade in reputation via long-term revitalization projects and undertook several large projects, including a $1 billion intercity rail line New Haven-Hartford-Springfield Intercity Rail Winking Face, a $1 billion MGM casino, and various other construction and revitalization projects. Geography. <laughs> <laughs> Springfield is located at 42 degrees 6 minutes 45 seconds north 72 degrees 32 minutes 51 seconds west 42.112411-72.547455. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 33.1 square miles 85.7 square kilometers, of which 31.9 square miles 82.5 square kilometers are land and 1.2 square miles 3.1 square kilometers, or 3.65 percent, are water. Once nicknamed, the city in a forest, Springfield features over 4.0 square miles 10.4 square kilometers of urban parkland, 12% of its total land area, located in the fertile Connecticut River Valley, surrounded by mountains, bluffs, and rolling hills in all cardinal directions. Springfield sits on the eastern bank of the Connecticut River, near its confluence with two major tributary rivers, the Western Westfield River, which flows into the Connecticut opposite Springfield South End Bridge, and the Eastern Chicopee River, which flows into the Connecticut less than zero. 0.5 miles .8 kilometers north of Springfield, in the city of Chicopee which constituted one of Springfield's most populous neighborhoods until it separated and became an independent municipality in 1852. The Connecticut state line sits only 4 miles 6 kilometers south of Springfield, beside the wealthy suburb of Longmeadow, which itself separated from Springfield in 1783. Springfield's densely urban metro center district surrounding Main Street is relatively flat, and follows the north south trajectory of the Connecticut River. However, as one moves eastward, the city becomes increasingly hilly. Aside from its rivers, Springfield's second most prominent topographical feature is the city's 735-acre forest park, designed by renowned landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted. Forest Park lies in the southwestern corner of the city, surrounded by Springfield's attractive garden districts, Forest Park and Forest Park Heights, which feature over 600 Victorian painted lady mansions. Forest Park also borders western Massachusetts' most affluent town, Longmeadow. Springfield shares borders with other well-heeled suburbs such as East Longmeadow, Wilbraham, Ludlow and the de-industrializing city of Chicopee. The small cities of Agawam and West Springfield lie less than a mile kilometers from Springfield's metro center, across the Connecticut River. The city of Springfield also owns the Springfield Country Club, located in the autonomous city of West Springfield, which separated from Springfield in 1774. <laughs> <laughs> Climate Springfield, like other cities in southern New England, has a humid continental climate with four distinct seasons and precipitation evenly distributed throughout the year. Winters are cold with a daily average in January of around 26 degrees Fahrenheit minus 3 degrees Celsius. During winter, nor'easter storms can drop significant snowfalls on Springfield and the Connecticut River Valley. Temperatures below 0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 18 degrees Celsius can occur each year, though the area does not experience the high snowfall amounts and blustery wind averages of nearby cities such as Worcester, Massachusetts and Albany, New York. Springfield's summers are very warm and sometimes humid. During summer, several times per month, on hot days afternoon thunderstorms will develop when unstable warm air collides with approaching cold fronts. The daily average in July is around 74 degrees Fahrenheit 23 degrees Celsius. Usually several days during the summer exceed 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius, constituting a heat wave. Spring and fall temperatures are usually pleasant, with mild days and crisp, cool nights. Precipitation averages 46.7 inches mm annually, and snowfall averages 49 inches centimeters, most of which falls from mid-December to early March. Although not unheard of, extreme weather events like hurricanes and tornadoes occur infrequently in Springfield compared with other areas in the country. 
On the occasions that hurricanes have hit New England, Springfields inland, a priver location has caused its damages to be considerably less than shoreline cities like New Haven, Connecticut and Providence, Rhode Island. On June 1, 2011, Springfield was directly struck by the second largest tornado ever to hit Massachusetts. With wind speeds exceeding 160 miles per hour, 257 kilometers per hour, the tornado left 3 dead, hundreds injured, and over 500 homeless in the city alone. The tornado caused hundreds of millions of dollars worth of damage to Springfield and destroyed nearly everything in a 39-mile path from Westfield to Charlton, Massachusetts. It was the first deadly tornado to strike Massachusetts since May 29, 1995. Topic neighborhoods Springfield is divided into 17 distinct neighborhoods, in alphabetical order, they are, Bay, features Blunt Park. In terms of demographics, Bay is primarily African American. Boston Road, named for its proximity to the original Boston Post Road system, features the Eastfield Mall. Primarily commercial in character, it comprises several shopping plazas designed for automobile travel. Brightwood, features numerous Baystate Health specialty buildings. Amputated from the rest of Springfield by the Interstate 91 elevated highway, academic suggestions are being made to reunite the neighborhood with the city. East Forest Park, primarily upper middle class residential in character. Borders East Longmeadow, Massachusetts. East Springfield, features Smith & Wesson and the Performance Food Group. Residential and working class in character. Forest Park, features Frederick Law Olmsted's renowned 735 acres 3.0 square kilometers Forest Park and the Forest Park Heights Historic District, established 1975. Residential in character, featuring a commercial district at the X and an upper-class garden district surrounding Olmsted's Park. Indian Orchard, features a well-defined main street and historic mill buildings that have become artists' spaces. Formerly a suburb of Springfield, Indian Orchard developed separately as a mill town on the Chicopee River before joining Springfield. Primarily residential in character, Indian Orchard features Lake Lorraine State Park, Hubbard Park, and weekly farmers markets. Liberty Heights, features Springfield's three nationally ranked hospitals, Bay State Health, Mercy Medical, and Shriners Children's Hospital. Primarily residential and medical in character, it features a demographically diverse population. Liberty Heights includes eclectic districts like Hungry Hill and Atwater Park, and Springfield's third largest park, Van Horn Park. The McKnight Historic District, features the Knowledge Corridor's largest array of historic, Victorian architecture, including over 900 painted ladies. Primarily residential in character, McKnight was the United States' first planned residential neighborhood. McKnight's commercial district is called Mason Square. Features American International College. In terms of demographics, McKnight features significant populations of African American and LGBT residents, and is home to Mason Square, named for African American philanthropist Primus P. Mason. Memorial Square, features the North Ends Commercial District. Metro Center, features nearly all major cultural venues in the region. Commercial, cultural, civic, and increasingly residential in character. Features the downtown business district, the Club Quarter, with over 60 clubs, restaurants, and bars, numerous festivals, cultural institutions, educational institutions, and significant historic sites. North End, not technically a Springfield neighborhood, but rather three northern Springfield neighborhoods. Includes Brightwood, which is residential and medical in character, but cut off from the rest of the city by Interstate 91, Memorial Square, which is commercial in character, and Liberty Heights, which is medical and residential in character. In terms of demographics, the North End is predominantly Puerto Rican. Old Hill, features Springfield College. Residential in character. Bordering Lake Massasoit. Old Hill is primarily Latino. Pine Point, features the headquarters of Mass Mutual, a Fortune 100 company. Primarily middle class and residential in character. Six Corners, features Mulberry Street in the Ridgewood Historic District established 1977 Winking Face, the Lower Maple Historic District established 1977 Winking Face, and the Maple Hill Historic District, established 1977. Urban and residential in character. 16 Acres, features Western New England University and Sabus International School. Suburban in character. Includes much of Springfield's post-World War II suburban architecture. 
South End, features numerous Italian-American restaurants, festivals, and landmarks. Urban and commercial in character, this neighborhood was hard hit by the June 1, 2011, tornado. Includes the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, however, it is separated from it by Interstate 91. Upper Hill, features Wesson Park. Bordering Lake Massasoit. Residential in character. Located between Springfield College and American International College. Demographics According to the 2010 census, Springfield had a population of 153,060, of which 72,573 were male and 80,487 were female. 73.0% of the population were over 18 years old, and 10.9% were over 65 years old. The median age was 32.2 years. The median age for males was 30.2 years and 34.1 years for females. According to the 2010 census, there were 61,706 housing units in Springfield, of which 56,752 were occupied. This was the highest average of home occupancy among the four distinct western New England metropolises the other three being Hartford, New Haven, and Bridgeport, Connecticut. Also as of 2010, Springfield features the highest average home owner occupancy ratio among the four western New England metropolises at 50% 73,232 Springfielders live in owner-occupied units, versus 74,111 in rental units. By comparison, as of the 2010 census, New Haven features an owner occupancy rate of 31%, Hartford of 26%, and Bridgeport of 43%. In terms of race and ethnicity, Springfield is 51.8% white, 22.3% black or African American, 0.6% American Indian and Alaska Native, 2.4% Asian, 1.2% Vietnamese, 0.3% Chinese, 0.2% Indian, 0.1% Cambodian, 0.1% Filipino, 0.1% Korean, 0.1% Pakistani, 0.1% Laotian, 0.1% Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, 18.0% from some other race, and 4.7% from two or more races 1.5% White and Black or African American, 1.0% White and some other race. Hispanics and Latinos of any race made up 38.8% of the population 33.2% Puerto Rican, 1.7% Dominican, 1.0% Mexican, 0.5% Guatemalan, 0.3% Cuban, 0.2% Colombian, 0.2% Spanish, 0.2% Salvadoran, 0.1% Peruvian, 0.1% Ecuadorian, 0.1% Panamanian, 0.1% Costa Rican, Rican, 0.1% Honduran. Non-Hispanic whites were 36.7% of the population in 2010, down from 84.1% in 1970. Income Data is from the 2009-2013 American Community Survey five-year estimates. Topic economy Springfield's vicinity to both Boston and New York City lends it a location well suited for distribution, and in the past this has played a significant role in its economy. For this reason in the early 20th century it was the largest producer in New England of commercially produced cakes and pastries, and among the largest in bread with one 1926 estimate of 1.4 million loaves of bread and 14 million breakfast rolls produced in the city on a weekly basis. Today Springfield's top five industries in order, by number of workers, are, education and health services, trade and transportation, manufacturing, tourism and hospitality, and professional and business services. Springfield is considered to have a mature economy, which protects the city to a degree during recessions and inhibits it somewhat during bubbles. Springfield is considered to have one of America's top emerging multicultural markets. The city features a 33% Latino population with buying power that has increased over 295% from 1990 to 2006. 
More than 60% of Hispanic Springfielders have arrived during the past 20 years, with 25 universities and colleges within a 15-mile radius from Springfield, including several of America's most prestigious universities and liberal arts colleges, and more than six institutions within the city itself. The Hartford Springfield metropolitan area has been dubbed the Knowledge Corridor by regional educators, civic authorities, and businessmen, touting its 32 universities and liberal arts colleges, numerous high regarded hospitals, and nearly 120,000 students. The Knowledge Corridor universities and colleges provide the region with an educated workforce, which yields a yearly GDP of over $100 billion, more than at least 16 U.S. states. Hartford Springfield has become home to a number of biotech firms and high-speed computing centers. As of 2009 Springfield ranks as the 24th most important high-tech center in the United States with approximately 14,000 high-tech jobs. In 2010, the median household income was $35,236. Median income for the family was $51,110. The per capita income was $16,863. About 21.3% of families and 26.8% of the population were below the poverty line, including 40.0% of those under age 18 and 17.5% of those age 65 or over. Topic business headquarters The city of Springfield is the economic center of western Massachusetts. It features the Pioneer Valley's largest concentration of retail, manufacturing, entertainment, banking, legal, and medical groups. Springfield is home to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts' largest Fortune 100 company, MassMutual Financial Group. It is also home to the world's largest producer of handguns, Smith & Wesson, founded in 1852. It is home to Merriam-Webster, the first and most widely read American English Dictionary, founded in 1806. It also serves as the headquarters of the Professional American Hockey League, the NHL's Minor League, Peter Pan Bus, and Big Y Supermarkets, among other businesses. Springfield is also home to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts' third-largest employer, Bay State Health, with over 10,000 employees. Bay State is the western campus of Tufts University School of Medicine. Bay State Health is in the midst of a $300 million addition, nicknamed the Hospital of the Future. It is the largest construction project in New England. In addition to Bay State, Springfield features two other nationally ranked hospitals, Mercy Medical, run by the Sisters of Providence, and Shriners Hospital for Children. Topic companies headquartered in Springfield The American Hockey League, the primary development league for the NHL. Bay State Health, largest employer and healthcare provider in Western Massachusetts, third largest employer in Massachusetts, constructing the $300 million Hospital of the Future, Big Y, a regional supermarket chain that was founded in nearby Chicopee, but is now headquartered in Springfield. Big Y operates more than 50 supermarkets throughout Massachusetts and Connecticut. Breck Shampoo, founded in Springfield in 1936. Fenton's Athletic Supplies, sporting goods provider founded in 1924. Hampton Bank, founded in Springfield in 1852. Headquartered in Springfield. Health New England Massachusetts Mutual Life Insurance Company, founded in 1851. MassMutual is the second largest Fortune 100 company based in Massachusetts 2010 list. The corporate headquarters are on State Street. Miriam Webster, publisher of the original Webster Dictionary Nouveau Bank, founded in 2008. Headquartered in Springfield. Peter Pan Bus Lines, headquartered in Metro Center. Peter Pan is moving its Springfield terminal and operations to Union Station as renovations are completed throughout 2017. Smith & Wesson, founded in 1852. Smith & Wesson is America's largest producer of handguns. The company maintains its corporate headquarters on Roosevelt Avenue in East Springfield. Topic companies formerly in Springfield Forbes and Wallace, Regional Department Store, closed in 1974 Friendly Ice Cream Corporation, founded in Springfield, headquartered in the Springfield suburb of Wilbraham, Massachusetts. Good Housekeeping Magazine, founded in Springfield in 1885. Indian Motorcycle Manufacturing Company, America's first motorcycle brand, was founded by George M. Hendy and C. Oscar Hedstrom in Springfield in 1901 Milton Bradley Company, American Game Company established in 1860. Headquartered in Springfield until its relocation to suburban East Longmeadow, Massachusetts. 
M1 rifle production started in 1919. Monarch Insurance went bankrupt while constructing Springfield's tallest skyscraper, Monarch Place. Rolls Royce Rolls Royce of America Inc. was formed in 1919 to meet the growing U.S. luxury car market. A manufacturing plant was set up on Hendy Street in Springfield, Massachusetts, at the former American Wire Wheel Company building. Over the years, the factory's 1,200 employees produced 1,703 Silver Ghosts and 1,241 Phantoms, with the first Silver Ghost chassis finished in 1921. The 1929 stock market crash led to the plant's closure in 1931. Springfield is the only place outside Britain where Rolls-Royce luxury cars have ever been built. Sheridan Hotels and Resorts, founded in Springfield in 1937 with the purchase of the Stonehaven Hotel, and later the famous Hotel Kimball. Springfield Armory, founded by George Washington in 1777, closed by the Pentagon in 1968. Arts and culture Topic. Amusement parks and fairs Within two miles three kilometers of Springfield are New England's largest and most popular amusement park, Six Flags New England, and its largest and most popular fair, the Big E Six Flags New England, located across Springfield's South End Bridge in Agawam features Superman the Ride, a roller coaster that has ranked first or second every year since 2001 in the annual Golden Ticket Awards publication by Amusement Today. Six Flags New England also features a large water park, kids' rides, and an outdoor concert stadium, among numerous other attractions. It opens in mid-April and closes at the end of October. The Eastern States Exposition, The Big E, is located across Springfield's Memorial Bridge in West Springfield. The Big E serves as the New England State's collective state fair. The Big E is currently the sixth largest agricultural fair in America and brings in thousands of tourists each September to October. The Big E features rides, carnival food, music, and replicas of each of the six New England state houses, each of which is owned by its respective New England state. During the Big E, these state houses serve as consulates for the six New England states, and also serve food for which the states are known. Festivals Hoop City Jazz Festival, an annual event sponsored by the Springfield-headquartered Hampton Bank, which in the past has featured Springfield native and jazz legend Taj Mahal, the Average White Band, and others. In 2011 the Hoop City Jazz Festival took place July 8–10 on Court Square, featuring a jazz tribute to the city of New Orleans. Basketball Hall of Fame Enshrinement Weekend, a week of events that culminates in the Basketball Hall of Fame's enshrinement ceremony. It features numerous VIP galas, awards dinners, and press conferences. Enshrinement takes place in Springfield's Neoclassical Symphony Hall on Court Square. In 2011, Enshrinement Weekend will take place August 11-13. Armory Big Band Concerts, annually each summer the Springfield Armory National Park and National Historic Site features 1940s big band concerts. The band dresses in period costumes, and free dance lessons are provided. In 2011, an Armory Big Band Concert will be held on July 9. Springfield Gay Pride Week, Springfield celebrated its first gay pride event June 8-16, 2011. Events range from political roundtables, to film showings, to celebrations at local gay clubs. According to 2010 census statistics, Springfield has experienced a dramatic rise in its LGBT population during the last decade, and this celebration is aimed at increasing the visibility and voice of the LGBT community and its allies. Our Lady of Mount Carmel Society Festival, in Springfield's Italian South End, it is long-running tradition to celebrate Italian feast days, in particular during the summer. The largest of these festivals is the Our Lady of Mount Carmel Society Festival, which features a parade, and numerous food stands offering all sorts of Italian foods, e.g. fried dough, pasta with meatballs or sausages, sausage and peppers, meatball and steak grinders, and sugar cones, cotton candy, candy apples and gelato. The festival takes place each year in mid-July. 
Stern's Square Concert Series and Bike Nights, annually from June through September on Thursday evenings from 7 to 10 p.m. Springfield sponsors free live music at Stern's Square, in the heart of Metro Center's Club Quarter. Hundreds and sometimes thousands of motorcyclists attend bike nights, which coincide with the Stern Square concerts. Mattoon Street Arts Festival, one of the largest annual art festivals in Springfield. In 2011, it will feature a record number of exhibitors when it takes place from September 10-11, 2011 in the Mattoon Street Historic District. The art festival takes place at the corner of Mattoon and Chestnut Streets, near the Apremont Triangle and Kimball Towers luxury condominiums. Pioneer Valley Jewish Film Festival – Each spring the Pioneer Valley Jewish Film Festival presents two weeks of films, renowned guest speakers, and events related to Jewish culture. In 2011, the festival took place from March 23 to April 11. St. Patrick's Day Parade – 7 miles 11 kilometers north of Springfield's Metro Center, the small city of Holyoke, Massachusetts, stages the United States' second-largest, annual St. Patrick's Day Parade larger than Boston's and Chicago's, but slightly smaller than New York City's. In 2011 Holyoke Street Patrick's Day Parade attracted over 400,000 revelers. World's largest pancake breakfast, annually, near the city's founding date May 14, Springfield attempts to break the Guinness Book of World Records mark for largest number of pancakes served. 2011's event drew over 30,000 people to Main Street, where approximately 60,000 pancakes were served. Star Spangled Springfield, annually on July 4, Springfield stages an evening of patriotism, pageantry and pyrotechnics. The evening begins in Court Square with a patriotic concert by the Springfield Symphony Orchestra and concludes with an elaborate fireworks display from the Memorial Bridge. Numerous hills and bluffs in Springfield afford views of the fireworks. Caribbean Festival, in general held in late August each year, Springfield's Caribbean Festival celebrates the culture of the West Indies, which has increased greatly in Springfield during recent years. Highlights of the festival include a parade, dancers, floats, Caribbean music, and even a fashion show celebrating traditional Caribbean dress. The Parade of Big Balloons Since 1991, the Parade of Big Balloons has helped to usher in the holiday season in Springfield. A 75-foot inflatable cat in the hat and a dozen or more big balloons, bands, and colorful marching contingents parade through Springfield's Metro Center at 11 a.m. on the day after Thanksgiving. The Parade of Big Balloons starts in the city's north end and make its way down Main Street to the south end, entertaining crowds estimated at 75,000. In general, this parade is broadcast by local TV and radio affiliates. Bright nights, during the holiday season, over 600,000 lights illuminate a 2.5-mile driving tour of Frederick Law Olmsted's Forest Park. Since its inception in the 1990s, the event has become a national attraction. From the new Poinsettia Fantasy entry to the giant Poinsettia candles marking the exit, passengers in cars, vans, buses, and campers drive by and through lighting displays, including Seuss Land, a display approved by the estate of Dr. Seuss, Spirit of the Season, Nose Ark, Victorian Village, Barney Mansion, Winter Woods, North Pole Village, Toy Land, and Season's Greetings. Topic. Museums Springfield is home to five distinct museums at the Quadrangle, along with the ornate Springfield Public Library, an architecturally significant example of the city beautiful movement. The Quadrangle's five distinct collections include the first American-made planetarium, designed and built 1937 by Frank Korkas, the Dr. Seuss National Memorial Sculpture Garden, the largest collection of Chinese cloisonné outside of China, and the original casting of Augustus St. Gaudens's most famous sculpture, Puritan. The Quadrangle's five museums are the Museum of Fine Arts, which features a large Impressionist collection, the George Walter Vincent Smith Art Museum, a collection of Asian curiosities, the Springfield Science Museum, which features a life-size Tyrannosaurus Rex, an aquarium, and the United States' first planetarium, the Connecticut Valley Historical Museum, which, as visitors find out, is inextricably linked with American history, and the Museum of Springfield History, a museum about the multifaceted city, Springfield's Indian Orchard neighborhood is home to the RMS Titanic Historical Society's Titanic Museum. 
Unlike Springfield's urban quadrangle museums, the setting for Indian Orchard's Titanic Museum looks like 1950s suburbia. Inside 208 Main Street is displayed a collection of rare artifacts that tell stories about the ill-fated ocean liner's passengers and crew. Topic music Classical music aficionados hold the Progressive Springfield Symphony Orchestra in high esteem. The Springfield Symphony Orchestra performs in Springfield Symphony Hall, a venue known for its ornate, Greek Revival architecture and perfect acoustics. The SSO's conductor is Kevin Rhodes. Famous musicians from Springfield include blues legend Taj Mahal, the band Stained and its frontman Aaron Lewis, Linda Perry, former leader singer of Four Non Blondes and now famous songwriter and producer, Taj Mahal's sister, Carol Fredericks, a soul singer very popular in France, numerous jazz musicians, including Joe Morello, drummer for the Dave Brubeck Quartet, Phil Woods, saxophonist for Quincy Jones, Tony McAlpine, keyboardist and guitarist with Steve Vai, and Paul Weston, composer for Frank Sinatra. Etc., among many others. In 2011, Springfield's music scene was eclectic. It featured a notable heavy rock scene, from which the bands Gaia, Stained, All That Remains, Shadows Fall, and the Acacia Strain rose to national prominence. Jazz and blues rival rock in popularity. Each summer, the Springfield headquartered Hampton Bank sponsors the annual Hoops City Jazz and Art Festival, a three-day event that draws approximately 30,000 people to Metro Center to hear varieties of different jazz music, from smooth jazz, to hard bop, to New Orleans-style jazz. Headliners have included Springfield Great Taj Mahal, The Average White Band, and Pancho Sanchez. Fifteen miles north in the college towns of Northampton and Amherst, there is an active independent and alternative rock scene. Many of these bands perform regularly in Springfield's Club Quarter, at venues such as Fat Cat's Bar and Grill, Theodore's, and the restored Paramount Theatre. In the Club Quarter, centered on Stern Square, nightly offerings include blues, college rock, jazz, indie, hip-hop, jam band, Latin, hard rock, pop, metal, karaoke, piano bars, and DJs. Each Thursday during the summer, a free concert is held at Stern Square to coincide with Bike Night, a happening that in general attracts thousands of motorcyclists to the quarter and thousands more spectators to hear live music. Larger rock and hip-hop acts play at the 7,000-seat Mass Mutual Center. The arena has played host to artists such as Marilyn Manson, Alice Cooper, Nirvana, David Bowie, David Lee Roth, Poison, Pearl Jam, and Bob Dylan. Nightlife Springfield's Club Quarter is the nightlife capital of the Pioneer Valley and the Knowledge Corridor, featuring approximately 60 dance clubs, bars, music venues, LGBT venues, and after-hours establishments. In general, most clubs, bars, music venues, and other nightspots are located on or near Upper Worthington Street, on and around Stearns Square, or on Chestnut Street. Springfield's Club Quarter features a large and growing LGBT nightlife scene at establishments like Oz 397 Dwight Street, Pure 324 Chestnut Street, The Pub Lounge 382 Dwight Street, and Club Ecstatic 240 Chestnut Street, featuring dancers. In 2011, LGBT magazine The Advocate ranked Springfield number 13 among its New Gay American Cities, ahead of San Diego and Albuquerque, New Mexico. There has been a notable increase in Springfield's LGBT nightlife since Massachusetts legalized gay marriage in 2004. Topic points of interest Basketball Hall of Fame, housed in a $47 million structure designed by Gwathmi Siegel and Associates, it is a shrine to the world's second most popular sport, basketball. Located in the city where basketball was invented, the facility, built beside the Connecticut River, spans 80,000 square feet 7, square meters, features numerous restaurants and the WMASFM studios. However, it is separated from Springfield's Metro Center by the eight-lane highway, Interstate 91. The Big E, also known as the Eastern States Exposition, it is New England's collective, annual state fair. Held on a permanent fairgrounds approximately 1.5 miles kilometers west of Springfield's Metro Center, across the Ornate Memorial Bridge in West Springfield, it attracts more than 1 million visitors per year during its 14- to 17-day run beginning in mid-September. Bright nights, during the holiday season, Forest Park hosts a lighting display. City Stage, features off-Broadway productions, comedians, and children's programming. 
Club Quarter, a grouping of 60 clubs, bars, and restaurants around Stern Square, Worthington and Main Streets. Springfield's variety of nightclubs and entertainment is part of what makes it, according to Yahoo, one of America's 10 best cities for dating. LGBT and dance clubs are integrated with hip-hop, rock, jazz, and blues clubs. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are particularly busy evenings. Connecticut River Walk Park, a landscaped park that snakes along the Connecticut River, affording views of the Mount Tom Range, Mount Holyoke Range, and Springfield's skyline. However, this park is separated from Springfield by the badly designed, eight-lane Interstate 91 highway, which cuts through three Springfield riverfront neighborhoods, and thus presents a major obstacle to accessing this riverfront park. In 2010, the Urban Land Institute released a plan for Springfield's riverfront, which has given Springfielders cause for hope that Interstate 91 will either be moved or made more easily passable via new design features that would allow people to access the River Walk and the Basketball Hall of Fame. Court Square, a park, referred to as Springfield's front door, it remains the city's only topographical constant since its founding in 1636. Located on Main Street and surrounded by ornate architecture, including the iconic Springfield Municipal Group, Court Square is the civic heart of Springfield. Until the 1960s, Court Square extended to the Connecticut River, however, as with Olmsted's Forest Park, its connection to the river was severed by the building of the Interstate 91 elevated highway. Dr. Seuss National Memorial Sculpture Garden, amidst the quadrangle, there are large, bronze statues of characters from Springfield native Dr. Seuss's books. First Game of Basketball Sculpture, located directly on the site of the first game of basketball, this illuminated sculpture in Springfield's Mason Square Commercial District has become a site of pilgrimage for basketball fans from around the world. Forest Park, designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, the renowned landscape designer of New York City's Central Park, Springfield's Forest Park is nearly the same size as Central Park at 735 acres 297.4 hectares. It features the zoo at Forest Park, the 31 acres 12.5 hectares Porter Lake, numerous playgrounds, a formal rose garden, 38 tennis courts, a skating arena, numerous basketball and bocce courts, lawn bowling fields, Victorian promenades and water gardens, tree groves, baseball diamonds, numerous statues, an aquatic park, and the Barney Carriage House, where many weddings take place. King Philip's Stockade, an historic, city park where in 1675, the Pocumtuck Indians, organized by Chief Metacomet, also known as King Philip, initiated the attack on Springfield during King Philip's War. During the attack, approximately 75% of the city was burned. Mass Mutual Center, formerly known as the Springfield Civic Center, this 8,000-seat arena and convention center received a $71 million renovation in 2003-2005. Located across from historic Court Square in Metro Center, the arena houses the American Hockey League's Springfield Thunderbirds. The venue also attracts big-name concert tours. In the past, it has hosted concerts by Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Van Halen, Marilyn Manson, The Eagles, and Bob Dylan, among many others. Mulberry Street, the street featuring the house that inspired Dr. Seuss's first children's book, the classic and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. The Puritan, a famous statue designed by Augustus St. Gaudens depicting Deacon Samuel Chapin, an early settler of Springfield. Originally located in Stearns Square, it has been located in Merrick Park in the Quadrangle for over 100 years and become a symbol of Springfield. The Quadrangle, a campus of five museums surrounding the Dr. Seuss National Memorial Sculpture Garden, is an extraordinary cultural grouping, especially considering Springfield's medium size population and small land area. It includes the world-class Museum of Fine Arts, known for its Impressionist and Dutch Renaissance collections, as well as its extensive collection of American masters, including works by Springfielder James McNeil Whistler. The world-class Springfield Science Museum features the United States' first planetarium, built 1931, and a large dinosaur exhibit. The world-class George Walter Vincent Smith Museum is known worldwide for housing the largest collection of Chinese cloisonne outside of China. It also features exotic curiosities like Asian suits of armor, and a collection of marble busts. The Quadrangle also features two regional history museums, the Connecticut Valley Historical Society, which tells the story of the Great River and its people, and the New Museum of Springfield History, which showcases the innovations that make Springfield the city of progress. 
During the abolitionist period and Industrial Revolution, which includes the first American English dictionary, the first gasoline-powered car, the first successful motorcycle company, the first modern fire engine, and dozens of other firsts see below for a more complete list. St. John's Congregational Church, founded in 1844 as the Sanford Street Free Church. St. John's Congregational Church is a predominantly black church that played a pivotal role in the abolitionist movement. While living in Springfield, John Brown attended services here from 1846 to 1850, and as of 2011, the church still displays John Brown's Bible. It was at this church where John Brown met Frederick Douglass, Sojourner Truth, and other prominent abolitionists, and where he later founded the famous, Militant League of Gileadites in response to the Fugitive Slave Act. As of 2011, St. John's remains one of the most prominent, predominantly black congregations in the northeastern United States. St. Michael's Cathedral, beside the quadrangle, this elegant Catholic church is the seat of the Diocese of Greater Springfield. Stacy Building, the location where, in 1892-93, the Durier brothers built the first, American, gasoline-powered car, which in 1895 won the first automobile race in Chicago, Illinois. A model of the Durier brothers' first car sits in a tree-shaded park beside the historic location, amidst the restaurants and bars of the club quarter. Six Flags New England, located 1 mile 1 kilometers west of Springfield's south end in Agawam, this amusement park is the largest in the northeast and features a top-ranked roller coaster, Superman the Ride. The Springfield Armory National Historic Site, founded by General George Washington and Henry Knox in 1777, the site of Shays' Rebellion in 1787, which led directly to the U.S. Constitutional Convention, the site of numerous technological innovations including the manufacturing advances known as interchangeable parts, the assembly line, and mass production, and the producer of the United States military's firearms from 1794 to 1968, when the armory was controversially shut down by defense Secretary Robert McNamara. Today, it is a national historic site, and features a museum that includes one of the world's largest collections of firearms. Springfield Cemetery, opened in 1841 and located in the heart of the city, it is designed in the scenic rural cemetery tradition. The cemetery is the final resting place of many pioneer settlers and noted individuals from Springfield and the region. Symphony Hall, dedicated in 1913 by President William Howard Taft as part of the Springfield Municipal Group, Springfield Symphony Hall features perfect acoustics. It is home to the progressive Springfield Symphony Orchestra conducted by showman Kevin Rhodes, and also hosts numerous Broadway touring productions. Stearns Square, designed by the renowned artistic team of Stanford White and Augustus St. Gaudens in 1897, this small park is the center of Springfield's club quarter. It features ornate architectural and sculptural details from the original team's design, however, most of those were meant to accompany the Puritan, and thus moved to storage. Stearns Square hosts a large motorcycle gathering each Thursday evening, and is the site of a summer concert series. <laughs> Sports Besides Springfield's historic connection with basketball, the city has a rich sporting history. Volleyball was invented in the adjacent city of Holyoke, and the first exhibition match was held in 1896 at the International YMCA Training School, now known as Springfield College. Ice hockey has been played professionally in Springfield since the 1920s, and Springfield is home to the league headquarters of the American Hockey League. The Springfield Indians of the American Hockey League now located in Utica, New York was the oldest minor league hockey franchise in existence. In 1994 the team relocated to Worcester and was replaced by the Springfield Falcons, who played at the Mass Mutual Center. The Falcons were then replaced by the Springfield Thunderbirds in 2016. For parts of two seasons 1978-80 the NHL Hartford Whalers played in Springfield while their arena was undergoing repairs after a roof collapse. On the amateur level, the Junior A Springfield Olympics played for many years at the Olympia, while American International College's Yellow Jackets compete in NCAA Division I hockey. Basketball remains a popular sport in Springfield's sporting landscape. Prior to the 2014-15 season, Springfield was home to the Springfield Armor of the NBA Development League, which began play in 2009 at the Mass Mutual Center. 
Beginning in the 2011-12 season, the Armour was the exclusive affiliate of the Brooklyn Nets. For many years, the Hall of Fame tip-off classic has been the semi-official start to the college basketball season, and the NCAA Division II championships are usually held in Springfield. The Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference will play its championships in Springfield from 2012 to 2014. The New England Blizzard of the ABL played its first game in Springfield, and several minor pro men's and women's teams have called the city home, including the Springfield fame of the United States Basketball League the league's inaugural champion in 1985 and the Springfield Hall of Famers of the Eastern Professional Basketball League. Springfield has had professional baseball in the past, and according to its current mayor, remains intent on pursuing it in the future. The Springfield Giants of the Single and Double A Eastern League played between 1957 and 1965. The team was quite successful, winning consecutive championships in 1959, 1960 and 1961, by startling coincidence the same seasons in which the Springfield Indians won three straight Calder Cup championships in hockey. The Giants played at Pinchon Park by the Connecticut River until relocating after the 1965 season. Pinchon Park's grandstands were destroyed by fire the year after in 1966. Before that time, the Springfield Cubs played in the minor league New England League from 1946 until 1949, after which the league folded, they then played in the International League until 1953. For many years before the Giants, Springfield was also a member of the Eastern League, between 1893 and 1943. In general, the team was named the Ponies, but it also carried the nicknames of Maroons, 1895, Green Sox, 1917, Hamptons, 1920 21, Rifles, 1932, 1942 43, and Nationals, 1939 41. The team located closest are the Valley Blue Sox of the New England Collegiate Baseball League, who play their games in nearby Holyoke, but house their team offices at 100 Congress Street in Springfield. Springfield has an official roller derby team, Pair O Dice City Roller Derby. They are a non-profit organization who uses their roller derby games as fundraisers for groups such as Dakin Animal Shelter and the Shriners. Architecture <laughs> 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 In addition to its nickname the City of Firsts, Springfield is known as the City of Homes for its attractive architecture, which differentiates it from most medium-size, northeastern American cities. Most of Springfield's housing stock consists of Victorian, painted ladies, similar to those found in San Francisco Winking Face. However, Springfield also features Gilded Age mansions, urban condominiums buildings, brick apartment blocks, and more suburban post-World War II architecture in the 16 Acres and Pine Point neighborhoods. While Springfield's architecture is attractive, much of its built environment stems from the 19th and early 20th centuries when the city experienced a period of intense and concentrated prosperity. Today, its Victorian architecture can be found in various states of rehabilitation and disrepair. As of 2011, Springfield's housing prices are considerably lower than nearby New England cities that do not feature such intricate architecture. In Metro Center, some of Springfield's former hotels, factories, and other institutions have been converted into apartment buildings and luxury condominiums. For example, Springfield's ornate Classical High School, 235 State Street, with its immense Victorian atrium, where Dr. Seuss, Timothy Leary, and Taj Mahal all went to high school, is now a luxury condominium building. The Hotel Kimball, 140 Chestnut Street, which hosted several U.S. presidents as guests and once featured the United States' first commercial radio station, WBZ, has been converted into the Kimball Towers condominiums. The former Macintosh Shoe Company 158 Chestnut Street, one of Springfield's finest examples of the Chicago School of Architecture, has been converted into industrial-style condominiums, and the Red Brick, former Milton Bradley Toy Factory is now Stockbridge Court Apartments 45 Willow Street. In the Ridgewood Historic District, the 1950s futurist Mulberry House 101 Mulberry Street, is now a condominium building that features some of the finest views of Springfield. Forest Park and Forest Park Heights, surrounding Frederick Law Olmsted's beautiful 735 acres .4 hectares Forest Park, is a New England garden district that features over 600 Victorian painted ladies. 
The McKnight National Historic District, America's first planned residential neighborhood, 1881, features over 900 Victorian painted ladies, many of which have been rehabilitated by Springfield's growing LGBT community. The Old Hill, Upper Hill, and Bay neighborhoods also feature this type of architecture. Maple High, which is architecturally and geographically distinct from, but often included with Springfield's economically depressed Six Corners neighborhood, was Springfield's first. Gold Coast. Many mansions from the early 19th century and later Gilded Age stand atop a bluff on Maple Street, overlooking the Connecticut River. The Ridgewood Historic District on Ridgewood and Mulberry Streets also feature historic mansions from the 19th and early 20th centuries. Springfield, like many mid-sized northeastern cities, e.g., Hartford, Albany, and New Haven, from the 1950s to 1970s, raised a significant number of historic commercial buildings in the name of urban renewal. In 1961, this included Unity Church, the first building designed by the young Henry Hobson Richardson. Springfield's metro center remains more aesthetically cohesive than many its peer cities, however, as elsewhere, the city currently features a patchwork of parking lots and grand old buildings. Current efforts are underway to improve the cohesion of Springfield's metro center, including the completed Main Street and State Street corridor improvement projects, the upcoming $70 million renovation to Springfield's 1926 Union Station and the renovation of the Epiphany Tower on State Street into a new hotel. New constructions include the architecturally award-winning, $57 million Moshe Safdie-designed federal building on State Street. Parks In 2010, Springfield was cited as the fourth, greenest city, in the United States, the largest city cited in the top ten. The recognition noted Springfield's numerous parks, the purity of its drinking water, its regional recycling center, and organizations like Restore Home Improvement Center, which salvages building materials. Springfield features over 2,400 acres 10 square kilometers of parkland distributed among 35 urban parks, including the Grand, 735 acres 297.4 hectares forest park. Well-known parks include the following, among others, Apremont Triangle Park is a triangular, pocket park in front of Springfield's historic Kimball Towers in Metro Center. Named for Springfield's 104th Infantry Regiment, which following the World War I Battle of Apremont, became the first U.S. military unit awarded for heroism by a foreign power, receiving France's highest military honor, the Croix de Guerre for bravery in combat. The same Springfield unit received the same honor again in World War II. Apremont Triangle Park, steps from both the Bohemian Kimball Towers and upper-class Quadrangle Mattoon Street Historic District offers a place to sit amidst the restaurants on the northern fringe of the club quarter. Armory Commons is a rectangular park just south of the Springfield Armory, located at the corner of Pearl and Spring Streets in Metro Center. Renovated in 2009, Armory Commons features several sculptures, including Pinchon Park's original sculpture. The park is often used as a place to play chess and other games. Connecticut River Walk Park is a narrow, landscaped park that snakes along the scenic Connecticut River for several miles. Beginning near the Basketball Hall of Fame, it features jogging trails, benches, boat docks, and plazas, all of which afford scenic vistas of the Connecticut River and Connecticut River Valley. However, Interstate 91's position, height, and ancillary structures, including a 1756 car, below-grade parking lot, the largest in the city, and 20-foot stone walls block all views of the Connecticut River, and all but three passages to the park from Metro Center. Despite Springfield's rating as one of the most walkable cities in the U.S., due to the poor planning of I-91, this park can be difficult to reach on foot. Court Square has been Springfield's one topographical constant since colonial days, it is located in Metro Center. Featuring monuments to Springfield's hero during King Philip's War of 1675, Miles Morgan, President William McKinley, and a Civil War memorial Court Square is surrounded by extraordinarily fine architecture, including H. H. Richardson's Richardsonian Romanesque Courthouse, the Springfield Municipal Group featuring the Greek Revival City Hall, Symphony Hall, and the 300-foot Italianate Campanile, and also the 1819 reconstruction of the 1638 Old First Church. 
Other buildings included are the One Financial Plaza skyscraper, UMass Amherst's Urban Design Studio in the Byers Block B, 1835 Winking Face, and, across Main Street, the Mass Mutual Center Arena and Convention Center. Five Mile Pond is a naturalist park and pond approximately 5 miles 8 kilometers from Springfield's Metro Center in the Pine Point neighborhood of Springfield. There are several, glacial lakes in the Five Mile Pond area, including Lake Lorraine, Loon Pond, and Long Pond. Five Mile Pond is popular with boaters. Forest Park is one of the United States' largest urban parks at 735 acres 297.4 hectares and also one of its most historically important urban parks. Designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, the famed designer of New York City's Central Park, Forest Park is nearly as large, and similarly diverse. Amenities include the zoo at Forest Park, which features many exotic animals, the United States' first public swimming pool 1899 Winking Face, numerous playgrounds, an ice skating rink, a formal rose garden, the 31 acres 12.5 hectares Porter Lake, which features fishing and paddle boating, 38 tennis courts, numerous basketball and bocce courts, lawn bowling fields, Victorian promenades and water gardens, dozens of hiking and walking trails, an aquatic park, numerous sculptures, and the the carriage house of Springfielder Everett Hosmer Barney, the man who invented the ice skate and popularized the roller skate during the 19th century. During the holiday season, Forest Park hosts the nationally renowned lighting display, Bright Nights. King Philip's Stockade is an historic park, famous as the site where Native Americans organized the 1675 Sack of Springfield. The stockade features numerous picnic pavilions, excellent views of the Connecticut River Valley, and a sculpture of the Windsor Indian, who tried in vain to warn the residents of Springfield of coming danger. Leonardo da Vinci Park is a small green space, 0.4 acres, located in the historically Italian south end of Springfield. It features ornamental perimeter fencing surrounding a playground. Leonardo da Vinci Park was renovated in 2009 and now features new picnic tables and playground equipment. Pinchon Park is an architecturally interesting brutalist-style city park, which was dedicated in 1977. It links Springfield's Metro Center with the Quadrangle Cultural Grouping. The museums and sculptures sit atop a steep bluff. Mostly made of poured concrete, but featuring a waterfall, lush greenery, and fountains, Pinchon Park received numerous accolades from the American Institute of Architecture for "...enhancing the quality of the urban environment in the core of the city." It features two levels and a distinctive elevator. Stearns Square is a rectangular park between Worthington Street and Bridge Street in Springfield's Club Quarter, located in Metro Center. Designed by the creative dream team of Stanford White and Augustus St. Gaudens. It was there that St. Gaudens' most famous work, The Puritan, originally stood. The Puritan has since been moved to the Quadrangle, at the corner of State and Chestnut Streets. However, White's and St. Gaudens' original fountain, bench, and turtle sculptures, all meant to complement the Puritan, remain in Stearns Square. Van Horn Park is a large park in the Hungry Hill section of Liberty Heights in Springfield. It features two ponds and a reservoir. The reservoir and lower dam are not generally accessible to the public. The main entrance is on Armory Street near Chapin Terrace. Topic: Government. Topic: City of Springfield. Springfield employs a strong mayor form of city government. Springfield's mayor is Dominic J. Sarno, who has been serving since 2008. The city's governmental bureaucracy consists of 33 departments, which administer a wide array of municipal services, e.g. police, fire, public works, parks, public health, housing, economic development, and the Springfield Public School System, New England's second largest public school system. Springfield's legislative body is its city council, which features a mix of eight ward representatives, even though the city has more than double that number of neighborhoods, resulting in several incongruous wards and five at-large city representatives, several of whom have served for well over a decade. The Springfield Fire Department provides fire protection and emergency medical services to the city and holds the distinction of being one of the oldest established fire departments in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Finances 
In 2003, the city of Springfield was on the brink of financial default, and thus taken over by a Commonwealth-appointed Finance Control Board until 2009. Disbanded in June of that year, the Control Board made great strides stabilizing Springfield's finances. While Springfield has achieved balanced budgets since 2009, the city has not enlarged its tax base, and thus many of its public works projects—which have been in the pipeline for years, some even decades— remain unfinished, e.g., repairs to Springfield's landmark Campanile. Springfield is being considered for a $800 million development project, MGM Springfield. To many this is an impressive feat given the natural disasters and continuous cuts to state aid during the Great Recession. Construction for MGM Springfield is currently underway. It's expected to be completed and operational by the fall of 2018. Building off of the work of the control board, the city's finances have remained stable under Mayor Dominic J. Sarnos 2008 -present despite the Great Recession and several natural and man-made disasters, June 1, 2011, Tornado Springfield Tornado, Hurricane Irene, a freak October snow storm which in some ways was more damaging than the tornado, and a large gas explosion in the downtown area in 2012. The city has recovered, however receiving a bond upgrade from Standard & Poor's Investment Services and the GFOA's Distinguished Budget Award for six consecutive years. <laughs> <laughs> Judicial system Like every other municipality in Massachusetts, Springfield has no judicial branch itself. Rather, it uses the Springfield-based state courts, which include Springfield District Court and Hampton County Superior Court, both of which are based in Springfield. The Federal District Court also regularly hears cases in Springfield, now in an architecturally award-winning building on State Street, constructed in 2009. Topic: <laughs> Politics. Springfield became a city on May 25, 1852, by decree of the Massachusetts Legislature, after a decade-long internal dispute that resulted in the partition of Chicopee from Springfield, and thus the loss of two-fifths of the city's population. Springfield, like all municipalities in Massachusetts, enjoys limited home rule. The current city charter, in effect since 1959, uses a strong mayor. Government with most power concentrated in the mayor, as in Boston and elsewhere. The mayor representing the city's executive branch presents the budget, appoints commissioners and department heads, and in general runs the city. The mayor is former city councilor Dominic Sarno, elected November 6, 2007, by a margin of 52.54% to 47.18% against incumbent Charles Ryan. He took office in January 2008. In November 2009 and 2011, Sarno won re-election, albeit, in the latter case, with just 22% of eligible Springfield voters voting. The Springfield City Council, consisting of 13 members, is the city's legislative branch. Elected every odd-numbered year, eight of its members are elected to represent wards which are made of sometimes incongruous groupings of Springfield neighborhoods, e.g., Springfield's ethnic North End neighborhoods. Memorial Square and Brightwood share a ward with Metro Center, Springfield's downtown. Five city council members are elected at large. The city council passes the city's budget, holds hearings, creates departments and commissions, and amends zoning laws. The mayor's office and city council chambers are located in City Hall, part of the municipal group in Metro Center, Springfield. The Finance Control Board met there as well. Switch to ward representation In the past, efforts have been made to provide each of the city's eight wards a seat in the city council, instead of the current at-large format. There would still be some at-large seats under this format. The primary argument for this has been that city councillors live in only four of the city's wards. An initiative to change the composition failed to pass the city council twice. In 2007 Mayor Charles V Ryan and City Councilor José Tosado proposed a Home Rule Amendment that would expand the council to 13 members adding four seats to the existing nine-member at-large system, but allocated between eight ward and five at-large seats. This Home Rule petition was adopted by the City Council 8-1, and was later passed by the State Senate and House and signed by the Governor. 
On election day, November 6, 2007, city residents voted overwhelmingly in favor of changing the city council and school committee. The ballot initiative that established a new council with five at-large seats and eight ward seats passed 3-1. On November 3, 2009, Springfield held its first ward elections in 50 years. Topic. Crime During the late 1990s and first decade of the 21st century, Springfield experienced a wave of violent crime that negatively impacted the city's reputation, both regionally and nationally. At one point in the first decade of the 21st century, Springfield ranked as high as 18th in the United States annual City Crime Rankings. Since approximately 2006, the city of Springfield has experienced a dramatic, nearly 50% drop-off in citywide crime. In 2010, Springfield ranked 35th in the United States City Crime Rankings, its second lowest ranking in recent years. In 2009, it ranked 51st. Springfield's current crime rating of 142 is down approximately 50% from its heights in the late 1990s and first decade of the 21st century. The cities of Hartford and New Haven, Connecticut, both of which in 2007 were cited as resurgent cities that Springfield should seek to emulate by the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, are now by nearly all statistical measures significantly more dangerous than Springfield. New Haven currently ranks 18th in the annual U.S. City Crime Rankings, and Hartford ranks 19th. The Urban Land Institute states that currently, the perception of crime in Springfield appears to be worse than the reality. By another measure, crime and population data collected by the FBI, and indexed by Neighborhood Scout showed between 2010 and 2017 the violent crime rate for Springfield decreased by approximately 44%, whereas the property crime rate declined by 49.4%. Both rates remain more than twice their respective state averages, as of 2017. Education. <inaudible> 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 Topic. Grade schools Topic. Public schools K Springfield has the second largest school district in Massachusetts and in New England. It operates 38 elementary schools, 6 high schools, 6 middle schools 6 to 8, and 7 specialized schools. The main high schools in the city include the High School of Commerce, Springfield Central High School, Roger L. Putnam Vocational Technical High School, and the Springfield High School of Science and Technology, better known as SciTech. There are also two charter secondary schools in the city of Springfield, Sabus International, which ranks among the top 5% of high schools nationally in academic quality, and the Hampton Charter School of Science. The city school committee passed a new neighborhood school program to improve schools and reduce the growing busing costs associated with the current plan. The plan faces stiff opposition from parents and minority groups who claim that the schools are still unequal. The city is required under a 1970s court order to balance schools racially, which had necessitated busing. However, since then, the city and the school's population has shifted and many of the neighborhoods are more integrated, calling into question the need for busing at all. Though the plan is likely to be challenged in court, the State Board of Education decided it did not have authority to review it, sidestepping the volatile issue while effectively condoning it. Topic private schools The Roman Catholic Diocese of Springfield operated five Catholic elementary schools in the city, all of which were consolidated into a single entity, St. Michael's Academy, in the autumn of 2009. The nondenominational Pioneer Valley Christian School is located in the suburban 16 Acres neighborhood, educating K-12. Non-sectarian elementary schools within the city of Springfield include the Pioneer Valley Montessori School in Springfield's 16 Acres neighborhood and Orchard Children's Corner in suburban Indian Orchard, a pre-kindergarten, among others. The diocese runs Cathedral High School, which is the largest Catholic high school in western Massachusetts. A nondenominational Christian school, the Pioneer Valley Christian Academy, is located in the suburban 16 Acres neighborhood of the city. 
Two nonsectarian private schools are also located in Springfield, Commonwealth Academy located on the former campus of the McDuffie School which moved to Granby, Massachusetts, in 2011 after 130 years in Springfield, and teaches grades 4 through 12, soon to enroll students in grades K-12, and the Academy Hill School, which teaches kindergarten through grade 8. Within 15 miles 24 kilometers of Springfield are many private prep schools, which can serve as day schools for Springfield students. They include the Williston Northampton School in Easthampton, Massachusetts, Wilbraham and Monson Academy in Wilbraham, Massachusetts, and Suffield Academy in Suffield, Connecticut. Topic: <laughs> Higher Education. Universities and colleges The Knowledge Corridor boasts the second largest concentration of higher learning institutions in the United States, with 32 universities and liberal arts colleges and over 160,000 university students in Greater Hartford Springfield. This includes two college consortia, the five colleges, and the cooperating colleges of Greater Springfield, whose member institutions often collaborate in greater outreach programs. Within 16 miles 26 kilometers of Springfield's Metro Center, there are 18 universities and liberal arts colleges, which enroll approximately 100,000 students. As of 2015, Springfield attracts over 20,000 university students per year. Its universities and colleges include Western New England University, Springfield College, famous as the birthplace of the sport of basketball 1891 and the nation's first physical education class, 1912. American International College, founded to educate America's immigrant population, is notable as the inventor of the Model Congress program. UMass Amherst relocated its Urban Design Center graduate program to Court Square in Metro Center. Several of Greater Springfield's institutions rank among the most prestigious in the world. For example, Amherst College, 15 miles 24 kilometers north of Springfield, and Smith College, 13 miles 21 kilometers north of Springfield, consistently rank among America's top ten liberal arts colleges. Mount Holyoke College, the United States' first women's college, consistently ranks among America's top 15 colleges, and it is located only 9 miles 14 kilometers north of Springfield. Hampshire College is located 14 miles 23 kilometers north of Springfield. The 30,000-student University of Massachusetts Amherst is located 16 miles 26 kilometers north of Springfield. Approximately 10 miles 16 kilometers west of Springfield, across the Memorial Bridge in Westfield, is Westfield State University, founded by noted education reformer Horace Mann. Westfield was the first university in America to admit students without regard to sex, race, or economic status. Just outside Springfield's northern city limits is Elms College, a Catholic college. Likewise, just 2 miles .2 kilometers below Springfield's southern city limit in Longmeadow is Bay Path University. Both schools were once all women but are now co-ed. <laughs> <laughs> Community colleges In 1968, following the Pentagon's controversial closing of the Springfield Armory, Springfielders founded Springfield Technical Community College on 35 acres .2 hectares behind the Springfield Armory National Park. Springfield Technical Community College is the only technical community college in Massachusetts, and was founded to continue Springfield's tradition of technical innovation. Holyoke Community College, 8 miles 13 kilometers north of Springfield, is Greater Springfield's more traditional community college. Library Efforts to establish the Springfield Public Library began in the 1850s. In fiscal year 2008, the city of Springfield spent 1.13% .1 of its budget on its public library, some $35 per person. In fiscal year 2009, Springfield spent about 1% .5 of its budget on the library, some $32 per person. Springfield has Massachusetts' second-largest library circulation, behind Boston. As of 2012, the public library purchases access for its patrons to databases owned by the following companies. 
Topic: Media. Topic: Newspapers. Springfield's largest local newspaper is the Republican. The Republican used to be the Springfield Union News and Sunday Republican. Smaller papers such as the Reminder and the Valley Advocate also serve Greater Springfield. Other newspapers serve specific communities of interest, such as El Pueblo Latino, serving the Hispanic community, Unity First and the AFAM Point of View, both of which serve the African American community, and the Rainbow Times, which serves Springfield's LGBT community. Topic. Television Springfield has a long history of broadcast television, including two of the oldest UHF television stations on the air today. Plus Plus WFXQCD rebroadcasts WWLP WWLP TV, UHF 22 Digital 11 WWLP TV is the NBC affiliate for the area, and also carries subchannel affiliations with the CW and Ion Television. WWLP TV is owned and operated by the Nexstar Media Group, and maintains studios in nearby Chicopee, where the station moved from their old studios atop Proven Mountain. WWLP is the oldest TV station to air regularly scheduled programming in the market, launching its schedule on March 17, 1953, on Channel 61. WWLP also operated WRLP UHF 32, a UHF station licensed to Greenfield, whose transmitter was in Winchester, New Hampshire, as well as W69AQ UHF 69, a low-power station that transmitted from the WWLP tower on Proven Mountain. WWLP remains the only full power station in the market with an analog television signal on the air. WGGB, UHF 40, Digital 40. WGGB is the ABC and primary Fox, secondary My Network TV affiliate for the area. WGGB is owned and operated by the Meredith Corporation and its studios are on Liberty Street near the Chicopee Line. WGGB originally WHYN signed on on April 1, 1953, on Channel 55. In 1958, WHYN switched to UHF 40. Guy Gannett Broadcasting bought the station in 1979 and changed its call sign to the current WGGB-TV effective at the start of the following year. In 2008, WGGB launched a secondary service called Fox 6. Named after its channel position on the local Comcast cable TV lineup. FOX6 also appears on WGGB's DTV sub-channel 40.2. WGGB's analog television signal signed off permanently in late November 2008, due to a transmitter failure. WGGB and WSHMLD broadcast local news under the branding, Western Mass News, and maintain a relationship with the Springfield Republican. WSHMLD, VHF 3.5 Digital 21. WSHMLD is Springfield's CBS affiliate operated by Hartford's WFSB. WSHM is owned and operated by the Meredith Corporation and shares studios with WGGB on Liberty Street near the Chicopee Line. WSHMLD and WGGB broadcast local news under the branding, Western Mass News and maintain a relationship with the Springfield Republican. WSHMLD was formerly W67DF, a translator of TBN, before being sold to Meredith. WSHMLD is referred to as CBS3, denoting its cable channel assignment within the market and to encourage longtime viewers of WFSB to stay with WSHMLD. WGBY, UHF 57, Digital 58 until April 18, 2009, Digital 22 thereafter. WGBY is the PBS member station for the area. WGBY's studios are in downtown Springfield, near Interstate 91 and the Conrail train lines. WGBY signed on in 1963. WGBY is owned by the Boston-based WGBH Educational Foundation. WGBY signed off their analog signal permanently in November 2008, to allow for the replacement of transmission antennas. Cable operators 
Springfield proper is serviced exclusively by Comcast cable. Springfield had a unique dual plant cable system from 1980 until 2001. All homes wired for cable had two cable drops run into their house. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Radio. Springfield was home to the first commercially licensed radio station in the United States, and the oldest radio station of any kind in New England, WBZ, which broadcast live from Springfield's luxurious Hotel Kimball at 140 Chestnut Street, now the Kimball Towers condominiums, before moving to Boston in 1931. Transportation <inaudible> 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 Springfield is called the Crossroads of New England because it is the major shipping nexus from New York City, Boston, Montreal and the Great Lakes via Albany, New York. Much of the cargo heading from one of these places to another crosses through the city of Springfield. As a geographical trade center, Springfield has more advantages than just being equidistant to these other large trade centers. It sits beside the Connecticut River, is located near some of the most fertile farmland in the Northeast, and is served by numerous rail lines and interstate highways, including I-90 Mass Pike and I-91, which connect New Haven, Hartford, Holyoke, Northampton, and Vermont to Springfield. One of the few spurs of I-91 in Massachusetts, I-291, runs through Springfield, and provides a secondary connection between I-90 and I-91. Rail <inaudible> 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 Springfield Union Station, originally opened in 1926 and reopened in 2017, is served by Amtrak's Washington, D.C. to Vermont Vermonter, Chicago to Boston Lake Shore Limited, the New Haven Springfield Shuttle, and Springfield to D.C., Virginia Northeast Regional. Currently, Amtrak ticket office and waiting room are located at track level which was built following the 1973 close of the Union Station building. Amtrak plans to move its ticketing, baggage, and waiting area facilities into the main building when construction of a high-level train platform is completed in 2019. Seatrail's Hartford line started operating from Union Station in June 2018, with Springfield as the northern terminus. Trains operate to New Haven, Connecticut with multiple stops in Connecticut along the way. The New Haven-Springfield line was upgraded in conjunction with the launch of the Hartford line service. The project received funding from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the federal government, and the state of Connecticut. Amtrak trains on the route between New Haven and Springfield reach speeds of 110 miles per hour, 177 kilometers per hour. In 2011, Springfield Union Station started a $70 million renovation to become an intermodal transportation facility, allowing Peter Pan Bus, Greyhound Bus, and the PVTA to occupy a modern space next to the renovated Union Station. It was completed in June 2017. There are no major freight yards in Springfield proper, but Connecticut Southern Railroad and CSX serve CSX's West Springfield Yard across the Connecticut River. Topic. Bus The Pioneer Valley Transit Authority PVTA is based in Springfield and uses Union Station as its Springfield hub, next to the Gothic Arch that denotes the entrance to downtown Springfield. The PVTA operates 19 bus routes from Union Station. The PVTA's Springfield service area includes Springfield, Holyoke, Chicopee, Westfield, West Springfield, Ludlow, Agawam, and East Longmeadow. With transfers, it is possible to travel into PVTA's northern service area, which includes Northampton, Amherst, and Easthampton. Intercity bus service is provided by Peter Pan Bus Lines and Greyhound Lines, both of which operate from Union Station. They provide service to destinations across the northeast United States. Air. Bradley International Airport, in Windsor Locks, Connecticut, is 12 miles 19 kilometers south of downtown Springfield. It features over 100 daily departures to 30 destinations on nine airlines. Other airports serving Springfield include Westfield Barnes Regional Airport is 12 miles 19 kilometers from downtown Springfield in Westfield, Massachusetts. 
It is 1.5 miles kilometers from the Massachusetts Turnpike. Westover Metropolitan Airport is 5 miles 8 kilometers from downtown Springfield. It is 3 miles 5 kilometers from the Massachusetts Turnpike. Logan International Airport in Boston is approximately 80 miles 130 kilometers northeast of Springfield. Water and sewer system The Springfield Water and Sewer Commission created in its current form in 1996 owns several reservoirs and aqueducts, as well as hydropower and sewage treatment stations. The city purchased the Springfield Aqueduct Company in 1872. Borden Brook Reservoir, located in the rural western Hampton County town of Blandford was completed in 1910. It feeds into the Cobble Mountain Reservoir completed in 1931 located at the junction of the towns of Blandford, Granville and Russell. The Wild Cat Aqueduct carries water from the Cobble Mountain Reservoir to a hydroelectric generating station on the Granville-Russell border, at the Little River. Drinking water flows to the West Parish Water Filtration Plant in Westfield, and is then pumped to holding tanks at the top of Proven Mountain in Agawam. The 1875 Ludlow Reservoir, also known as Springfield Reservoir, is maintained as an emergency water supply. It is located in Ludlow and fed via the Broad Brook Canal. SWSC provides retail water in Springfield and Ludlow, wholesale water to Agawam, East Longmeadow, and Longmeadow, partial or peak service to Southwick, Westfield, and West Springfield, and emergency service to Chicopee and Wilbraham. <laughs> Sister cities Takikawa, Hokkaido, Japan Notable people Notable musical artists include See also Springfield, Massachusetts Portal The Children's Study Home National Register of Historic Places listings in Springfield, Massachusetts Equivalent lands Topic. Notes and references equals 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 notes. <laughs>